Oh, with an hour each day over the past week, six kids with Sharpies were able to create a book, all while learning a new language. Our Brenda Mack tells us more in this week's In Focus. Here's how you say spider in Ojibwe. A baska nuevene. A mik magizi and niwabama fox. Here, first and second graders are all learning a new language through art. I am making a eagle. Um, and we're making books out of a Ojibwe language. Using illustration, each student took an hour over four days to draw their animal of choice. All eventually will be placed into a series of books written by a mother who simply wanted to teach her kids the Ojibwe language and realized the lack of resources for it. So she wrote them herself. Especially the Ojibwe language, our indigenous languages, we all know that they are endangered and they're so vitally important to moving into the future with respect for each other and for the earth. To keep the language alive, she has to first spark interest. That's when she decided to incorporate art. Really pretty. Now, Ojibwe language, a lot of how the language works is it's through the verbs and it's through the actions of doing. Mm -hmm. It is about seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, feeling. An idea turned into a project and now turned into reality. Kids were speaking Ojibwe all week. I would feel happy so my friends would be understand me more than just me speaking English. It is a very subliminal process at times, but just the act of creating a piece of art with an important piece of content, it does help them very much absorb that knowledge. Five books for five senses. Three other books will be illustrated by area high schoolers throughout the summer. For this week's In Focus, Brenda Mack, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.